James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. The Webb Space Telescope is a virtual time machine. Using infrared radiation, it captures light first cast billions of years ago, which is then transformed into these stunning images. So now humankind can actually see galaxies being born. NASA astrophysicist Amber Strawn. You know, we recognize when we look at these beautiful images that we really are looking back at our origins. We're looking at ourselves. Absolutely, we're looking at ourselves. Webb has inspired awe and taught us more about our infinitesimal place in the cosmos. One galaxy has hundreds of billions of stars and probably hundreds of billions of planets. Wait, 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 hold on. Let me, <laughs> let me, I need to process what you're saying. One galaxy has hundreds of billions of stars. Of stars. And we're talking about hundreds of billions of galaxies? Yes. Possibly a trillion galaxies. Yes. That is a number that is just so hard to compute. It is, it's staggering. Strawn was inspired as a young girl growing up in rural Arkansas, gazing up at the star-filled sky. Now, the images from the Webb Space Telescope have reinforced her deep belief, we are all in this together. This idea that the iron in our blood and the calcium in our bones was literally forged inside of a star that exploded billions of years ago as a supernova. We're connected viscerally to the universe and I think also shows that we're connected to each other. All of these divisions that we have, in a big sense, we're connected to everyone else on the Earth in a very fundamental way. Strawn was part of a team of thousands that worked for decades to launch Webb but the journey to get these breathtaking images was at times excruciating, and the telescope almost didn't get off the ground. NASA and its European and Canadian partners faced engineering setbacks, budget issues, and most of all, scientific hurdles that seemed impossible to surmount. And then there were the things a do-it-yourselfer might understand. And in the acoustics test, a lot of fasteners or screws fell off, and so that was kind of a not such a good day. <laughs> The screws were falling off. So that was, that was bad, <laughs> but that's why we test. Right. We, wanna, we want screws to fall off while we're still on the ground. Right. right. Project leaders like Greg Robinson helped keep things steady. Robinson grew up in a sharecropper family, one of 11 children. He won a college football scholarship, studied math and engineering, and brought his sports experience to Webb. It's just amazing the possibilities, what we can do when we work as one team. Then I think we can do anything. And, and I, I mean anything. Everyone and everything had to work in concert, including making sure the moving mirrors on the web opened perfectly in sync. While that was happening, commissioning manager Keith Parrish didn't sleep much. Every day we were doing an unfolding process. So you'd win that day, and then the next day you'd come back and you'd play the game again. That's an emotional roller coaster. Yeah, and you did that for things. 14 days and you'd go back to the hotel and no, you're coming, come back. <laughs> Chief Systems Engineer Begonia Vila grew up in Spain, where she dreamed of a career in astrophysics, but doubted she had a chance. If that little girl in Spain could see you now, what would she think? Uh, I don't think she would believe it. It makes you feel you belong. You can make a home in a different place from where you grew up, and that we all have these common goals. Um, we have about 30 seconds till we should be in contact. Using computers, specialists like Emily Bevins control the telescope that is four times farther away than the moon. From a million miles away. Correct. There's a huge radio dish in Madrid that will be uh, helping us facilitate being able to communicate with the telescope. That evening, Webb sent digital data that was translated into images like these. A reminder that in a time when Americans may doubt we can pull together to do anything, the web team pulled off a triumph, a feat that has redefined the way we look at who we are and what we can do. It's a reminder of what unity looks like. Exactly. You know, I think one of the awesome things about this mission is that when we got started, it was impossible. And then to see these beautiful results, it's a beautiful example that when we put our hearts and our minds together towards something big and bold, that we can truly achieve the impossible. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.